What is going on guys and welcome back to another trail camera episode here. This time I thought I would leave some watermelon in the middle of the forest. Don't do that by the way kids eat watermelon off a of battle axe. Um, it was delicious watermelon. In fact, very excellent watermelon. I kind of wanted to take it with me actually, but it was for the video so I left it out there. Uh, nothing the first day, but that night uh, a couple of raccoons found it. And here's a mama raccoon, goes right for a half and just starts pigging out. So, found out raccoons love watermelon. I wasn't really sure how animals would react to it. Um, I knew that like bugs and stuff would love it. You can actually see quite a few bugs flying around, but I wasn't sure about uh, deer and bears and all that stuff. They love the other offerings we put out there. Uh, but she is pigging out on the watermelon. I know it's a she because this little guy shows up. A little, what do you call it? Baby raccoon. Is it a cub? Something like that. But there's one. And then, for the first time, there are two babies. And then a third baby. So a mom and three babies. This is the very first for trail camera series for me. You can see all three little squirts right there. Boy, they are cute and adorable when they're that uh, when they're that size. Their little fuzzy tails, right here. One of them must have done something bad because the mama gives him a whack or a bite or something, but he's hurting. Maybe he got too close to her piece. Then she looks over at him. I don't know what she's saying to him there, but uh, I think he learned his lesson. After she gets done eating, she goes over and sits down, and then it was their turn to pig out. And boy, did they get after it. I am now convinced that raccoons have the best sense of smell of any forest animal because this is like the fifth time in a row that uh, uh, raccoons have found the food first. Or they're just the hungriest, so they make a beeline for it. But this was a first. I always love getting brand new things on my, uh, on my trail cameras, and three baby raccoons was definitely a score. But all in one night, they pretty much cleaned out the watermelons. You can see them there. The hearts are gone. Uh, they pretty much took all the best stuff out of them the first night, and uh, no other animals came around, but you see a deer in the background there. She's checking it out. She definitely wants some. The smell drew her in, um, but she's cautious. Deer, I'm finding, are very, very cautious about food left in the woods. I mean, I would be too. It, it looks like a trap. I'm not sure where the other piece of watermelon went. I don't know if one of the raccoons dragged it off or something like that. Um, but she gets close, and then she's like, no, mm -mm. this is a trap. I'm gone. And then later on, this big guy finds it. All the best stuff is gone, but of course, raccoons kind of eat anything. So he just starts pigging out. And I mean, I, I, we're going to assume that like from this little time lapse here, that raccoons are mad about watermelon. The raccoons did such a good job of cleaning out the watermelon. When I uh, came to check on it, I felt like I needed to add a little something to it, so I poured some corn out on the ground uh, because they don't seem to be as interested in that, and I was hoping some other animals besides raccoons would come. What I'll do next time is leave like a pile of watermelon in the middle of the forest so it doesn't get just devoured in the first night. Um, shortly after I left and put out the corn, a squirrel and blackbird find it and uh, they are eating it together in harmony there. Didn't know how much fighting there would be around uh, these piles of food and so far I've yet to see any fighting between the animals. They're, they're all cohabit together pretty well. With this squirrel eating on the corn, it did occur to me, he's probably storing it away places too. He's burying it like they do nuts. And we're gonna have random corn growing up everywhere now. Um, that was a random goose running by. And then here is a 
random buck who is running by and stops to sniff the trail camera. He probably smells all the other animals that have come along to sniff it, because that's what all of them do. They all come and uh, either gnaw on or at the very least sniff on the trail camera. And he's like, mm, that's weird. And then this is hilarious. So here's a doe just nibbling away corn and something spooks her. And she takes off, and wait for it. <laughs> Boom, what, what the heck? A random deer running through, but wait for it, there's more, there's more. Wait for it. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up, were they just playing around back there? Or, or what? I'm not sure, I've never seen that before. And then here's a little blue jay eating his fill of corn. And then he gets scared off. Everything was kind of skittish and scared in the woods on this day. And then this deer finally sums up the courage. I think this is that one I saw earlier that she checked out the watermelon and then left. Very beautiful deer. And uh, a little squirrel is watching her and decides to come down and join her. It's like I heard there was some food down here. Can I get on on the action? And uh, he's a little skittish, but he manages to grab a few kernels and she doesn't mind him. Like I said, still have not seen a single fight between animals around these piles of food, which I'm glad for. And then this here, honestly, was one of the most beautiful things I've ever gotten on my trail cameras. Very excited I got this. You can see the doe looking in the woods and two fawns show up. This was so cool. She must have told him to hide, you know, told as, as, you know, as deer communicate, but basically told him to hide, and then she ate. I'm noticing that trend among the animals. The mom eats first, and then she kind of calls the babies over or lets the babies in on it. And uh, they're all looking around very cautiously, like deer are, and uh, they join her. This was so cool. She's licking the one. She licks the face of the other one. I'm so glad I did this. These fawns were definitely born this year, this last spring. It's summertime now. <laughs> Mama's taking care of them there. Oh, I'm so glad I put out the corn as well. This was so cool. Guys, if you want to check out more trail camera episodes, make sure that you click there. Have so much fun making these. We have a lot more to come. There's so much wildlife in the forest around me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.